What's up guys? Welcome to Callahan Garage. We've got a little bit of a revival for you today. We are here to pick up one of two 57 Chevys wagons that we bought from my uncle. Cars were restored in the early 90s and really haven't been driven since the early 2000s. Hopefully today we'll get the first one running, driving, maybe take it for a spin. Stay tuned. So you may notice we have to do a lot of voiceover work during this video. Had a little trouble with the microphones and if you just saw there are peacocks everywhere. So they're pretty loud, so we had to kind of cut up our, our volume just a little bit. Behind me, you're going to notice the 1957 Chevy Station Wagon. That is one of two I just bought. Uh, quick little story, make it simple. My uncle restored these cars in the early 90s, mid 90s. We'll get a little story from him in a little better detail later. Um, called me a month ago, said, you know, wanted to buy another car. Old, you know, Oldsmobile or some kind of older car, would I want to buy both these cars? So this is the first one. We're going to do a walkthrough on it. Today's goals, probably pretty lofty. We got to go get them. We got the uh, rims off of here. We're going to go put some new tires on it. Check the brakes, drain the gas, get a little bit of work done, and then see if we can do a burnout. We can take it to get a wash. So thanks for watching the channel. We'll keep you updated. Okay guys, kind of give you a little walk around the car. Um, it's pretty dirty. Uh, it's got, it looks like disc brake conversion at some point. Uh, 427 big block. Uh, it says car originally used to push about eh, 450, 500 horsepower. So pretty exciting to see if we can actually get it kind of back up there. Um, she's got a lot of service rust on, a lot of dirt. Um, when we get this tarp off, we can actually probably get a better look at kind of what the uh, what the body's line looks like. It, it looks to be a fairly straight body. Um, underneath, we've definitely got some surface rust. Nothing that's jumping out at me going, oh my God. Um, but yeah, she's definitely gonna need some love. What you can't really hear is me and my uncle arguing over whether or not we need to drop the tank, drain it, clean out the fuel system, clean the carburetor, check the brakes. A lot of the stuff you would normally do on a revival. Unfortunately, my uncle is hard-headed and he is not having any of that. So we are literally going to wipe off all the dirt, put some gas in the carbs, and see if this thing will start.
than most people would have expected us to be able to do in about like two hours. Like, I was not expecting us to be able to get in and actually drive this car down the road this far. You know. Um, but, I mean, it has a lot to say about the engine you built for, you know what I mean? It, 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 Working. 